Rusty Quill presents Of That Colossal Wreck Episode 6 Cold Command Humanity, evolution's finest creation. Since the arrival of the first Homo sapiens over a quarter of a billion years ago, the human race has ruled and shaped our homeworld and brought life and civilization to dozens of others. From those early pioneering attempts to settle on Mars, to the first successful colony on Europa, to our newest fully terraformed planet, Kepler, humanity's will to survive and explore has triumphed over the vastness of space. And now we will triumph over time with the Ozymandias Project, governments, corporations, and philanthropists working together to create a vast space station to protect our way of life forever. Unlike a terraformed colony, the Ozymandias Station will have no reliance on Earth or its outpost. Designed to function completely independently, the station will house 1.5 million artificially grown bodies kept in stasis and implanted with unique memory sets. Thanks to donors like you lending their skills and experiences, we can store all the knowledge we need to repopulate the stars should humanity fall. Imagine the memory of your hometown forming the blueprint for a new Eden, or your grandmother's recipe nourishing a renewed civilization. Thank you so much for contributing to the Ozymandias Project, the ultimate insurance of humanity's legacy. Bring a torch. Never mind. Shit. Can they get through? Doubt it. They're not great with locked doors. Oh, that's a relief. No, they'll look for another way in. How likely is it they'll find one? Depends. Doesn't look like they've been in here before, so if there is one, it's probably well hidden. But they've probably never had a reason to really look before. Well, in that case, we better... wait. That pod. Is that really... The Commander. They're real? I mean, sorry, Mira, I know you all have this pull to the Commander. I just didn't expect it to be so... literal. Like, there's literally a Commander. Maybe. Maybe not. What? What's a fancy pod? Says Commander. But we don't know who's in there. Maybe no one. Well, let's find out then, shall we? Mira? Right. It's broken. <sighs> Same as the others. <coughs> I guess we should have seen this coming. Maybe we can do something to fix it, I mean. Didn't we set everything on fire last time we tried? Then let's be a bit more careful. We have time. Assuming the whistlers don't get in? Yes, okay, assuming that. But look at this place. There must be something we can do. We might actually be able to access the temperature controls from one of these command centres. But it would keep them away, right? You said they avoid the heat. Sure. Haven't found a temperature that kills them yet, though. Not one that wouldn't kill us too, anyway. So we'll probably have to keep that door closed for a while to be safe. Kind of safe. Riley, why don't you and Anya see if you can take care of that while Mira and Zack work on the commander's pod? Uh, Luna and I will look for anywhere the whistlers might get in and see if we can barricade them somehow. Mm. It's better than no plan at all. Good. (laughs) 
Please enter the command key. How did you do that? Just turned it on. Stuff still works sometimes. Great. What's the command key? Oh, don't know. Never been asked for one before. Mira, can you have a look at this? On my way. Zack, are you going to be alright with this? I think so. I should be able to stop it catching fire again at least. Please. Please enter the command key. Right, I think I've made it onto the medical override menu. So, if I can just figure out how to... Whoops! Okay, uh, I can just go back and then just... Uh... Yes! Got it! Hey, everyone, I, I think I've done it. What? That's great! Yeah, it's initiated the wake-up procedure, so just give it a minute and they'll be here, I guess. The commander. Huh. Never thought I'd see the day. I thought you said you didn't feel the pull anymore. I didn't. But it's right here. Hard not to feel something. Yeah, it's... it's a lot. Still, looks like it'll be a few minutes yet and we've still got work to do. Hey... I haven't found any vents or anything, but there's a smaller door around that corner we should check. Any luck with the console? Nope. Please, Please enter, enter the, the command, command key. key. Yeah, that sounds frustrating. Yeah, it is. There is one other thing I found. What? Weapons. What? Weapons? Where? All different kinds. Definitely some guns, and I think maybe some explosives. There's caches of them, one in the floor over there, and another hidden in that wall. There's other stuff too. Maintenance supplies, emergency rations, that sort of thing. Oh, that's good. We should stock up. But why are there so many of them here? Who are they supposed to be firing at? We can figure that out later, after we've made sure that the other door is properly blocked. Come on. Something's not right. There should be movement by now. Are you sure you activated it correctly? I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm sure. It definitely responded. It's doing something, just not necessarily the right thing. We need to get it open. Isn't that dangerous? If the person's still in stasis, sure. But not as dangerous as leaving them in there if it's just a faulty lead. I think Luna found some first aid stuff. I'll go grab it, just in case. Thanks. Mira? Ready on three? Right. One, two, three. What are we doing? Well, Zach thinks the commander might be waking up but stuck in there. We're trying to open it up. Give us a hand. Right. Everyone, lift on three. One, two, three. What happened to them? Stasis failure. Fuck! I'm sorry, Mira. How long have they been... like this? It's hard to say without knowing what went wrong with the pod systems. Maybe a decade? Maybe centuries? Possibly a millennia? They look so old. Everyone does at this stage of decomposition. They might have aged and died naturally without ever waking up. Or the life support systems might have cut out suddenly when- You said the lid was stuck. Maybe someone else woke them up first. Maybe- Maybe we should just try to figure out what to do next. We could bury them. Back on the farm? Why? They would have hated the farm. It would represent a mission failure. This is where they belonged. We should leave them here. Let them stay at rest like they have been. We broke the pod. Hmm. We could fix it, maybe. Not well enough for stasis, but well enough for... Well, a coffin. We've got tools. I even saw a welding torch somewhere. Wait. The badge. I really don't think we need... Oh, Riley, the... that data port on the command console. No, I, I think you're right. The command key. Maybe it's a physical key. Someone should take it, then. Right. I guess I'll, um... 
Ah. Uh. Here. Thanks. Levi, you saw them, right? The scratches on the inside of the lid? Do you so think that... What I think is we're better not pointing them out to Mira. She's got enough on her plate. Please enter the command key. Welcome, Commander. Yes! The whole station's on here. What's well, even bigger than I thought. We saw a layout a while back, but the scale wasn't clear. How big are we talking? Vast! At least 20 miles in each direction. Right now we need to focus on this room. See if you can get the temperature any higher. Aye, aye, Commander. Don't call me that. The Commander's dead. Is it hot enough yet? Depends how much you want to keep the whistlers away. Huh. Pass us some more water then. Careful with those. We don't want to run out. Uh, we've got loads in here, and we should be able to find more. We don't even know where we're going next. I mean, we've got full plans for the whole station. We can probably even find other hydroponics bays, like the farm. Have you actually looked at the schematic, Levi? Not yet. I've been reading Well, the... it's not good. About half the station's showing some sort of problem, and there's a whole section of it that should be there, but just isn't giving any kind of status signals at all. Uh, we think it might be gone. Could have been hit by something. An asteroid, maybe. Is that what's gone wrong here? With the station, I mean. However it was meant to work, it obviously wasn't this. That's what I was saying. I've been reading, well, briefings, I suppose, for the command crew. Whoever built this station left instructions. Apparently, we, everyone, I mean, all the people on the station, were supposed to wake up when a signal stopped reaching us from Earth. Well, are we still getting the signal? No. The last time the station picked it up was over 6,000 years ago. Maybe the receiver's been lost? It could have been on that missing section. Yeah, possible. But the central computer's been sending its own signal to Earth, and well, that's still going. So it's more likely that there's just no one left to answer? Maybe they just can't hear us, or maybe they can hear us but can't get here, or yeah. Maybe there isn't anyone. Well, we don't know. That signal could be what attracted the whistlers. You said there were instructions. Yes, but I don't think they're much use to us. Let me see. What are these? Contingency plans? Instructions for different scenarios. Computer, find instructions for inoperable station. Sorry, file not found. Find instructions for minimal crew. Sorry, file not found. They don't call us crew. You know what they call us all the way through? We're not people or citizens or inhabitants. We're units. <sighs> Computer, find instructions for minimal units. In the event that identified suitable habitat is insufficient to support full contingent, assign minimal units for termination according to the following schedule until sustainable population is reached. Terminate units with designation DY and values below 50. Terminate units with designation DX and values below 50. Terminate units with designation CY and values below 55. Stop! Terminate units... <laughs> What designations are we? Well, I'm a CY. Don't know what my value is, though. I'd rather not know. What were the other scenarios? I didn't look at all of them. Things like suppressing descent on the station, what to do if we encountered alien life sufficiently sentient to hold inviolable right to habitation. Mm, let me guess. It wasn't going to be inviolable. Mm. That's horrible. Maybe it's for the best this place never worked. I guess that explains why there's so many weapons here. 
They're better than anything in the rest of the station, too. We should take as many as we can now. I don't want to touch those things. We're being hunted by monsters. I haven't forgotten. She does have a point, Luna. It would be good to have some extra defence against the Whistlers. We could do better than that. Look here. Computer, show station schematic with current temperature. See here? There's a sort of five-way junction, not that far from the missing sectors. It's much colder than anywhere else on the station, and the status readings are all over the place. You think there's whistlers there? I think it's their nest, where the queen lives. They have a queen? Like bees? Yeah, or ants. At least I'm pretty sure they do. I've never seen her, but... It would make sense with what I've seen of the rest of their social structure. Well then, we'd better stay as far away from there as we can. What? No! I mean we should go there. We have decent weapons now, explosives. If we could kill the Queen and destroy the nest... You want to wipe them all out? Yes, exactly. Did you not just hear any of what's been going on? Just like the people who built this place, thinking they get to decide who counts, what the value of a life is. That's not the same. Not even a bit the same. This isn't the Whistler's home. It's ours. And they're the ones killing us off. I'd expect you to see that more than anyone. She's right, Luna. We could actually make this place safe. Anya. How many whistlers do you think are in this nest? Uh, I've never seen it, so I can't say for sure. I reckon a few hundred. It's too dangerous. Don't any of you understand what they do? They don't just sit in their nest waiting for prey to walk into it. They'll get all of us eventually, if we can't find a way to hurt them back. We don't know that. There are places we can defend. We could go back to the farm. And what? Live out our lives like the people buried there? No, like the people who lived there. I was just suggesting an option. You're free to put forward your own idea. I'm thinking. I just need some time to come up with a plan. You okay? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, I don't really know how I am. Yeah, this is... uh, It's a lot to take in. In a way, I suppose it's nice to have options, but none of them are really... It's not that. It's more... You know it was hard for me, waking up. You all knew who you were immediately, but I had to have it explained. And it took a while to make peace with having memories that were sort of hand-me-downs. I still felt like a person, though. But now, knowing exactly how we've been... manufactured, made to the specifications of someone else's scenarios... Yeah. But then, if you think about it, isn't everyone? Uh, I know this must be just as hard for all of you, too. I didn't mean... mean... Isn't everyone made, even back on Earth? And when people have a baby, they don't create a fully formed person, but they try their best to shape one. They probably have a life in mind for their child, even if it's just to be happy and loved. Having expectations put on you doesn't make you inherently different to most people. And if it helps, I think the people who built this place would have hated how we turned out. (laughs) (laughs) I bet they would. I just mean that. Maybe we're all a product of other people, but that doesn't mean those other people control who we are. I can remember teaching a lot of kids in loads of different places and every single one of them surprised me. They all had people trying to mould them and at some point, they all did something we hadn't accounted for. And whoever decided I should remember all that didn't account for the five of us waking up together or for Anya spending decades on her own I guess not. I just really hate the thought of it. What we were meant to do. The more I see of it, the more I can't stand it. How can I be part of a society that would do all this, let alone resurrect it? It's a hard thing to accept. When we were back in the farm, I collected seeds from all the different plants. I've still got them in my bag. 
I thought that maybe, someday, I could grow them somewhere new. But now, I just wonder whether we ever found life on any of the worlds we terraformed, and I can't remember. Because they didn't think I needed to know. They thought I needed the desire to take life from one place and grow it somewhere new, and that's exactly what I have. What I am. And I hate it. And that's why it's not who you are. Because you have that hate in you. They'd never let you keep that if they had a choice. All those contingencies, all those scenarios were because whatever they called us, they knew they were making people. And people are messy and weird and unpredictable. Maybe we remember some things they wanted us to and we have some skills they gave us, but nobody who lived thousands of years ago gets to decide who we are or what we do now we're here. I didn't say that, Levi. I said you could be a little bit patronising sometimes. Yeah. Thanks. You're right. Yes, Levi, I know how dangerous it is. Every possible thing we do at this point is dangerous. That doesn't mean we can just disregard the risks. I'm not disregarding them. I just think it's worth considering... So my plan's too dangerous. But you think getting inside a millennia-old metal box and flinging yourself into space is worth considering. It's not a metal box. It's an escape shuttle. But it would be flinging ourselves into space. What's going on? We found a shuttle bay on the station plans. Status updates say most of them are still functional. That's great. Is it? What's out there? We're a light year away from the nearest star system, and the star charts are all fried, so we have no idea which one it is. So, it could be Earth, or Legada, or anywhere. Or it could be nothing but rocks and gas. Do the shuttles have light speed? We don't know yet. How are you even thinking about this? We're already somewhere we know we can survive. And now we have a way to take care of the whistlers. And by take care of them, you mean feed ourselves to them. Oh, this is ridiculous. Anya's got a point. Like, we know we can survive here. We could even focus on something other than just survival. We're not going back to the farm, Levi. Mira, you can't make that call for everyone. You're not in charge just because you're holding the commander's badge. Riley, I know you understand. We need to destroy that nest if we want to survive here. I don't know. I mean, you know Whistler's better than anyone. And I say this needs to happen. One swift blow and it's all over. How can we make them understand that, though? They never will. They're so obsessed with what the weapons were supposed to do, they can't see what they could do for us now. So, what do we do? We do what they need us to do. What they can't do themselves. No, I can't just leave them. What if something... Look at them, Riley. They're scared. They can't bring themselves to do what needs to be done. I... I don't know. I'm scared too. Then face those fears. You're the only one I trust to have my back. I don't see anything wrong with that. There's beauty in what you think of as a small life, Mira. I'm sure there is. But we won't get to have one no matter what we do. And I don't want to be just another skeleton or mummified corpse to be found by the next unlucky souls who wake up there. Is this still about the farm? No. Yes. Look, I loved the farm, but I don't think I could live my whole life there. We could live- Wait. Where's Riley? Ananya? I don't know. I saw them talking a minute ago. Shit. Is that so much to ask that people stop just sneaking off? <sighs> Come on. Before Riley gets themselves eaten. That Colossal Wreck is a Neon Inkwell podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is written and created by Sasha Siena and Jonathan Sims and directed by Maximilian John. A full list of credits is available in the show notes and the concluding episode.